this is my uh, uh, second, third video about beekeeping, and I am been building a lot of my own boxes, woodenware, and I came up with a mating nuke idea that's a spin-off of a lot of others. I've got a lot of good ideas from other beekeepers out there from Bee Source and um, Bee Master, both sites I go to all the time. All right, so here is my design. It is this one's a deep, this one's a deep, or I'm sorry, this one's a medium, this one's deep, and this one's a deep. Here's how it works. I've got inner covers, just like the ones everybody's seen. You know, except for I, I've got mine raised up a little bit to give them the more room above the frames so I don't smash them. I kind of like that. That's a little different. The inner covers I've seen other people build, they actually sat inside on top of the frames. I didn't like that, so I kind of glued some of these little quarter inch strips on the inner covers and set them on top the edge. Just like an inner cover usually sits. Same deal with the small ones, except for I didn't put nothing down the sides. This one. Now this one is a four-way made nuke. It has it holds three frames. Two, two, three. Oh, and I've got them numbered here, so I know the inner covers. Which one goes to what? This, the three stands for the hive body. And the one stands for the position on the hive body. So this is hive three in slot one, two, three, four. Okay. I made these to fit. Now, the first one I made um, had a little gap here. I didn't like it, so I actually re ran this through the dado blade and cut into that 3 8 slot a little bit. It's a tight fit. It's been a tight fit. I had to do some sanding on the edge of the divider boards to make them slide up and down. But when I did the sanding, if you can see the little mark I made right there, I did not sand above that mark because that is where the frame rest sits up. And I did not, I don't care if that little bit's tight, that don't... Uh, wedge in so tight that you can't slide it in and out so I did leave that tight if you can see there is no no gap whatsoever right there there's a little one there but if you look on the other side no gap it actually touches the top of the hive body that took a little bit of Designing the first try was uh, not very good. I like the second way. Okay, there's my dividers ran through a dado blade, like I said. And let me throw this over here. And instead of running this bottom board here uh, through a dado blade, I just put, took some scraps and glued them this side so when that's down the slot if there's ever any warpage in the plywood and say the bottom of it bows down a little bit there will be no gap like like if the bottom bowed up or bowed down a little bit and there's a little gap that little wood right there is a quarter inch, so it gives me a quarter inch play if if it ever bowed. The gap would not show to the bees. The bees wouldn't see it. But that is not the part that is different. The, um, the inner covers, what I'll do is I'll drill them little 3 16th inch holes, and on the lid, I will either solder or JB weld them little um, tubes that they uh, um, 
put on the lids here and just slide the tube down the little hole. That's the kind of feeder I'm going to do. That's why these uh, division boards do not stick up above the inner cover so the jars can slide around and be flat. Like if I wanted to put a hole right here, my jar could actually sit on a little bit of both inner covers. Because I'm going to put vent holes with the uh, number 8 hardware cloth in the tops of these somewhere, but I'm going to fill, uh, find out the where I'm going to put the feeder jars and how many before I drill the vent holes. So I'm not quite done. Okay, but the part that I like about all this mating nuke is the fact that the bottom can actually be a top. I put um, galvanized metal on it and it can actually be the top. Now what I'll do is I haven't um, secured the top yet to it. It's just um, friction held in there. But I'll get some silicone and put the silicone in there so that crack when I am using it as a mating nuke water don't seep down in that crack and rot my plywood bottom so I will water seal that so I can have it upside down like that and also what I like about my mating nukes is they can just be hive bodies. Whenever I'm done using them as mating nukes, that's 10 frame standard equipment. I can throw this mating nuke right on a regular 10 frame box. And it could be part of a regular hive set up and I can take this this bottom and throw it right on top so I don't have anything stored I'm totally using the whole thing all year I can overwinter that outside don't have to store it in I also like the fact that here I'll show you one with frames in it I could also just not have the division board in place in the inner cover those pieces of inner covers here's all my frames and these the division boards are pulled out that could be just a regular five frame nuke there I can after I, my mating nukes start to grow I turn it into a five frame nuke on each side and then if they get to grow even more I got ten frame pull pull the, these frames out put them in another ten frame and go from there and then just throw these inner covers back on if I want to I might not but I'm just I like to utilize every piece of equipment I don't like to uh, use it once and then store it 11 months out of the year but as you can see there's no gaps in there that could be just a regular inner cover and I can throw the mating nuke bottom, flip it upside down, and have it as a lid. So that's my uh, design. Oh, one other thing I did not tell you was what I'll do is I'll drill one hole here for an entrance, one hole here for an entrance. <coughs> 